or Learning Management System is a web developed program that is designed specifically to create, collaborate, distribute, and manage the delivery of educational content. In this video, let us look how to use the Polytechnic College of Badolan Learning Management System. To visit or open the website, use your available browser. In this video, we use Google. Just type in the URL iClassPCBSambales.com in your address bar. Within the login page, enter the username and password given by the school administrator. These credentials are very important and should be kept. Click Login or press Enter. Take note that you need to change your password once you enter the website. After changing the password, you will be directed to the home page where it contains all the necessary parts of the LMS. This page shows your temporary profile picture located at the upper right corner. The latest announcements where you can check school's important events and celebrations. The available courses displays your enrolled subjects. The navigation, which includes the link of home page. The upcoming events, which displays the activities you need to accomplish. And the calendar where it highlights the events. Upon clicking the dashboard, you will be directed to the area where it shows the course content for the semester. It consists of navigation, upcoming events, course overview, online users, and the calendar. Within the course overview, courses or the subjects enrolled will be displayed. Click the course or subject to view the content and you will be directed to your specific subject. Upon clicking the specific subject, you will be directed to the page where it shows all the lessons, uploaded modules, activities, and other announcements. In this video, let us try to click and open a sample course module. The PDF file will appear on your window that contains your module. For activities, we have quizzes and assignments. To take the quiz, click quiz or the quiz title located under the lesson or module. The page for the quiz preview will appear. To start the quiz, click the Temp Quiz Now button. You will now be directed on answering the quiz. Quizzes have different types and it depends on the selection of your instructor. To fill in your answer, click on the button under the question. The type of quiz can be multiple choice, true or false, identification, matching type, or essay. For the identification or definition, make sure to type the correct answer, then click the next page for the next question. For the multiple choice, choose your best answer. After answering all the questions, click Finish Attempt to submit all the answers. To completely finish the quiz, you have to click Submit All and Finish. After clicking the Submit All, a confirmation will appear. The summary of previous attempts also shows the date and time you submitted the quiz. Let us now proceed on another activity which is assignment. Let us now see how assignment works. In this section, the student can take the assignment given by the instructor for a given period of time. The submission status shows whether it is taken or not. The grading status tells if it is graded or not yet graded. Time remaining tells whether the student is late or still have time to do the assignment. Last modified shows if the assignment have changes or modification. And the submission comment where both instructor or student can give comments, suggestions, and questions regarding the assignment. 
To add your assignment, click Add Submission, and you can answer the assignment using the Online Text or File Submission section. For the online text, just type your answers, while in File Submission, you can create your assignment depending on the required file. File submission requires a maximum file size of 20 MB. Example of file types are .doc for Word, .ppt for PowerPoint, and .pdf. Always remember, click on Save Changes to finish assignment. Within the assignment summary, the student can edit or remove submission as long as there is enough remaining time before the deadline. For the discussions, it displays topic needed for a particular or specific lesson. This will be posted and will be viewed by the students. To open the discussion, click the discussion topic under the discussion category. You have to click Reply to the discussion. The students can add comments to the discussion by clicking the Reply button. The comment section will appear and the student can add a comment for the discussion. To post your reply, click Submit. After clicking the Submit button, the student's reply will appear on the page. The student can reply to every comment by clicking the Reply button. You will only have 30 minutes to edit the comment, otherwise, you will not be able to edit or delete the comment. We also have feedback, comments, and suggestions. The teacher can give feedback to answer the questions about the lesson. By clicking the question button, the student can give responses to the feedback given by the teacher. Click the text box to answer the question. By clicking the Submit Your Answer button, answers will be submitted to the teacher. Click Continue to go back to the lesson proper. The subject tutorial or references are uploaded URLs regarding the subject. It is another learning resources given by the teacher. It can be a video or file wherein the student can view or watch the tutorial. Always remember, iClass.pcbzambales.com is your learning management system, your guide to your success.